All right, hello there, Algebra 2. Good to see everybody tonight. Well, that doesn't make sense. I don't see you, you don't see me. But thank you for joining anyway. Let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so we are doing the lesson that is entitled Fractional Equations. This is assignment 11 of unit five. All right, so uh, the ability to figure out what the common denominator, your least common denominator, is going to serve you very, very well here. Um, so it's th this lesson's similar to the last lesson um, in that we're going to we what we want to do is we want to clear the equation of of the fractions that that's going to make it much much easier to work with. So anytime you want to clear an equation of fractions, you just multiply every term by the LCD, the least common denominator. All right, so so what would the least common denominator be here? Okay, well it's it's going to be it's going to be two a, right? Um, so I can multiply this by two to give me two a. I can multiply this by a to give me two a, and I can multiply this by two to give me two a. So the least common denominator is 2a. All right, so if I multiply every term by 2a, every term multiplied by 2a. So this, it effectively clears the fraction because these cancel. These cancel, and these cancel. All right, so no more, no more denominator there, right? So now we're just going to distribute what we have left. So it's two times five gives us ten. All right, a times one gives us a, and two times six gives us twelve. All right, so now it's a simple. Just solve for a, so we subtract 10 from both sides. And we've got a equals 2. Okay, all right, that makes sense to everybody? All right, this actually is number 2 uh, from, your, from your work there. Okay, so we just did one of them for you. All right, okay, let's do, let's do another one from your from your work, all right? A uh, little, little more complicated here, um, but same, same basic steps. We wanna, we wanna figure out what our common denominator is. Whenever you have fraction, okay, whole number, just put that whole number over one, all right? So that's gonna be over one there, all right? I like to look at it like that. Okay, now, what what is gonna be, What's going to be our, our common denominator? So another uh, one thing, if you'll remember, I've, I've said this a few times. Whenever something can be factored, go ahead and factor it, okay? So this, this expression right here can be factored. We can factor out a 2, okay? So it becomes, becomes 2 times x plus 3, right? So 2x and plus 6. All right, and then we have our 4x over here. Okay, so what what's going to be what's going to be our common denominator? See if you can see if you can look at this one and figure out what the common denominator is going to be. So we've got 4x and 2 times quantity of x plus 3. Okay, does everybody see it? So I know I can multiply this over here times x plus 3, right? And I can multiply this by what to give me, to give me this? Yeah, I can multiply this 2 times 2x, and that would give me 4x times x plus 3 just the same, okay? 
All right, and then our other denominator is just 1, so that can just be multiplied by all of this to give us that. So our, our common denominator would be 4x times the quantity of x plus 3. All right, so that means we're going to multiply every term by that. All right, so, so what, ends up, what ends up happening when we do that? All right, well, I want to rewrite the first fraction. So 5 over, and instead of putting 2x plus 6, I'm going to write it in its factored form. So it's going to be 2 times x plus 3. Okay, minus 2 over 1. Okay, equals 1 minus 8x over 4x. All right, so all I've done so far is just rewritten the original problem, but I just, I put this in factored form. All right, so we know we're going to multiply, we're going to multiply all of these times this, because that's our least common denominator. All right, so if I multiply, if I multiply everything over here times 4x, times x plus 3. What's that going to give me? Well, we're going to we're going to lose our x plus 3s and then we're going to lose this as well and this is going to become 2x. Right? Everybody understand that? Okay. Now, if I multiply it over here, you know, there's really nothing to cancel. It's already 1. So, it's, we're just going to end up multiplying that uh, this this two uh, times all of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So we got over here after we did all of our, did all of our cancellation, we were left with two x times positive five. So that left us with ten x. Okay, now now I'm going to take I'm going to do this work up here. Okay, so. If I've got um, if I have two times four x times x plus three, okay. So we'll just we'll go ahead and just this is going to become eight x times x plus three, okay. But remember that this negative sign right here. Is going to change. Is going to change that, right? So um, we could look at it. We're just taking this two right here and multiplying it by the least common denominator. But do it, don't forget that we have this right here. So if we end up with, if what we end up with is eight x times x plus three. Okay, it's really going to be negative eight x times x plus three. Okay. Okay, and then we'll come over here. Equals. All right, and then we're multiplying again. We're multiplying everything over here by our by our common denominator, which was four x times x plus three. And you'll notice that that clears out that denominator, and we're left with x plus 3, okay? And that's going to be x plus 3 times 1 minus 8x. So we need to go ahead and we need to go ahead and multiply this out. All right, so x times 1 gives us x. x times negative 8x gives us negative 8 x squared, 3 times 1 gives us positive 3, and 3 times negative 8x gives us negative 24x. Okay, so, so we've got, we've done all of that work and we've come, come to this step here. So now what do we need to do? We need to go ahead and distribute this, right? So that's going to get, I'm going to bring this 10x down. So 10x, and that's going to give me negative 8x squared minus 24x. 
equals eight minus eight, I'm sorry, x minus eight x squared plus three minus 24 x. Okay, so let's just keep working it. Let's keep working down here. Um, if we combine our like terms on this side, we've get, we have 10, 10x minus 24x. It gives us negative 14x minus 8x squared. Okay, so we, we combine those. Okay, and then we have over here, we've got 1 and a negative 24x. That gives us, ne sorry, negative 23x. So we combine those. All right, and then we have negative 8x squared plus 3. All right. Okay, well, let's see. What else can we do here? So we are we can bring... Actually, these are going to end up canceling out, right? So that brings us down to negative 14x equals negative 23x plus 3. We'll add 23x here. Add 23x here. I'm going to make it easier for me to draw my line here for a second. Get to the bottom of the page there. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so this gives us, okay, negative 14 plus 23. That leaves us with 9x equals 3, okay, divide both sides by 9, divide by 9, and we have x, uh, it's so hard when we get to the bottom, I'm going to bring our answer, okay, you see what we're doing here, I'm going to bring my answer right back up here, so it's going to be x equals one third. okay, all right, so that's uh, number, that's number four there. Okay. Um, so I know it looks like a looks like a big jumbled mess there, doesn't it? But hopefully you were able to follow uh, the logic behind everything that we that we did there. So just remember what the the name of the game is. First of all, figure out. Well, first of all, if something can be factored, factor it. Then figure out what your least common denominator should be. Okay, so again, we we looked at this one, and after we after we f we realized that this could be factored out to two times the quantity of x plus three, and then you had four x. Okay, well we said, well I know I can multiply this side times x plus three to give me a a grand result of. 4x times the quantity of x plus 3. Okay, well, I can get this same thing, which is what we want to do, right over here. I can get that, I can get that right here. I already have my x, my x plus 3. I already have that. Now, what would I need to multiply this by to give me all of this? Well, we said multiply that 2 right there times 2x, and we can get 4x times the quantity of x plus 3. So once we figure out what our common denominator would be, okay, then we just multiply every term by that least common denominator. And that is the way, by multiplying every term by the least common denominator, denominator that's how you clear the equation of all the fractions. Because fractions are just difficult to work with. So if you can just clear it, clear it of all the fractions, and just get down to working with all, you know, whole numbers here, then it's much easier to find the value of x, okay?